Hey everybody, welcome. Am, do I have the sound going? The sound's going, okay. Welcome to this video. I am gonna show you how to pair this with this. Or not pair, but I'm gonna show you how to get them working because I bought this, the, the Rode Video Micro, and I did not realize that I needed a special adapter to attach to my phone. I was like, Rrr! but then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make my own because I've had this problem before, so I'm gonna solve this problem. And it's really quite simple, so I wanted to share it with you and hopefully give you a video that will explain it um, and actually show you what you need to do. It's really quite simple. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to make this cable. We're going to make this connector. It's gonna connect from your microphone side to your phone side. It involves a little bit of soldering. Um, if you really don't like working with electronics, uh, with, with little wires and, and soldering and stuff, then this video may not be for you. You should probably just go buy a, uh, an adapter probably save you some time and frustration but if you like learning new things new skills and saving some money at the same time and you know you can make as many of these as you want in any kind of way so you have learned a new skill totally worth it then this video is for you and stick around let's get into it all right let's go over a few basics just to give you just a little bit of a background on what why we're doing what we're doing and kind of help you understand this a little bit in case you don't already but if you're looking up this video on how to do it yourself you probably already understand this but this is what's called a trrs uh jack this is a 3.5 millimeter headphone type jack this came off of a set of samsung earbuds here and these earbuds have what is very common now they have the this um this microphone what trrs stands for stands for tip ring ring sleeve okay. what we have over here which is what co uh comes out of the this is the, the the cable for the road and what's very common um as a as an audio jack is you have left audio right audio and uh ground and this is so you have tip ring sleeve so trs and over here, you have left audio, right audio, ground, and then microphone. So you have this extra one here. So the game plan here, what we're going to do is we're going to take the right audio. It could be the right or left in this case because it's producing a dual uh, mono. So each you could use the left or the right audio. And we're going to connect. In this case, I'm just going to use the right. We're going to use connect the right audio to the microphone uh, to the microphone cable on the TRRS headphone jack, which is going to connect to our camera, in this case, uh, a phone, a Samsung Galaxy S7. Um, and then our ground is just going to connect to the ground. So all we, alls we need here is we need the right audio and the ground connected to the mic and the ground on this other side. That's it. So that's what we're going to do. So for the TRS, what I'm going to do is I don't really want to, I don't want to mangle up this, this cable just yet. I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. So what I did is I sacrificed basically your standard audio cable and I just cut off a section of it. It could be however long you want. I'm just going to, I just decided this was like a good length and we have our TRS on this one side and then I cut the, these off or the, I cut this end off of the, uh, the little, uh, Samsung, um, headphones that I have. So these are the two items that we're going to be working with and we're going to be uh, stripping these wires here. And when you're cutting your wires and stripping them, be sure to give yourself enough length so that you can comfortably work with them. I think I cut mine a little bit too short and I had a little bit of problems with that, but it still worked out okay. And basically just soldering them, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm just going to gently and carefully roll, roll this across here to cut the outer sheath. I don't want to cut the inner sheaths on the wires inside. You could also use a wire uh, stripper. That would work as well. And inside you can see we have three wires. So we have the white, which is our left audio, the red, which is our right audio, and then this copper wire here, that's kind of wrapped all around, is our ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire, I am going all the, the bare copper wire, I'm going to twist it off to the side so it's something that we can actually work with. I am going to strip the end off of the red wire and I'm going to leave the white wire alone. A little slicey dicey just to cut off the very the 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 just the outer sheath and I'm just going to twist this wire a little bit and then we're going to be soldering these wires 
to our headphone wires. Now for the headphone jack, the TRRS side, I'm going to do the same kind of thing here. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife, very carefully going to slice the outer sheath. Very squishy silicone rubber. There we go. So I pull that off. So now that we have our wires exposed here, all that we want to work with really is the mic. The mic, well, the mic and the ground, but all of these wires, these three wires, have this exposed copper on the outside, and that is the ground. So we have basically a set of left, right, and mic. If you're not sure which uh, which wire is which, the best thing to do is get yourself a multimeter and use the continuity checker, and then go to the uh, put one probe where the microphone is on the jack because we know that that is where the microphone should be and then hold it there and then with the other probe tap these wires now the wires are they're actually covered um, they are insulated and so you can only tap them on the end and they're very very small at just the end of the wire so I mean, it can be difficult there we go i found the mic is we can basically forget about these two wires uh, because we don't need those. All we all we need is the mic and the mic ground. Try and separate the copper ground wire from the inner wire. You can see that there. See how it's we have the inner wire coming out. Okay, so now we have all the wires, all of the ground copper ground wires. So we're gonna twist them together. Now I'm going to get my soldering iron and tin these wires in preparation for soldering them together, which just means I'm going to add a very small amount of solder to the wires so it'll be easier to solder them together. And okay, now we're going to solder the two grounds together. Again, I have my heat shrink tubing on there. Once you have the wires soldered together, it's good to do a continuity check just to make sure that everything is working properly. So we want on, on our uh, TRS cable that's going to go from our microphone, we want uh, the right audio, because in this case we use the right audio cable, to connect to the microphone part of the TRRS, and we can see that it does. Also with the ground over here, we want the ground to connect over here with the ground. And it does right there. So we are we are good to go. So let's test it out. Uh, here we have our voice recording app. We're gonna plug in this end into the microphone. Plug in this end into the phone. Check, check, check. I am talking into the video micro and it is picking up and you can see when I'm tapping on on there very gently it picks it up but not when I tap on the phone so we know it's coming out of here hey thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to this channel if you want to learn more about I don't know just cool stuff like this and problem solving and mostly I do RC stuff and unmanned aircraft stuff but um, if there's a problem that needs to be solved and I can solve it and share that with you, I'm going to do that. So, all right, see you next time.